Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are getting our lives together. The beginning of summer is always one of my favorite times of the year because usually in June, I just take out a whole day and I just plan my life and make goals, which is one of my favorite things to do. The first day of summer is officially upon us. We've basically gone through half of 2023 already. So what better time is there to reflect, make goals, get motivated and get our lives together. So there's a study I saw where the researcher concluded that by writing down our goals, we are 45 percent more likely to achieve them so of course i made a list of my goals and i separated them into multiple subcategories so the first category of goals i have is finance goals and for that i have two goals first i want to be really serious about tracking my expenses my savings my spendings everything and what i do for that is really simple i created this notion template it's basically just two charts the first chart for income and then the second chart for spendings and what i want to do with that is that i want to track every single pay I receive, everything I spent, the date, and the reason why. Yeah, and I want to do this for every month, and at the end of each month, I'm gonna add up all the money I earned, all the money I spent, and all of the money I put into my savings account. And speaking of savings, my next goal is that I want to save 60% of every paycheck I receive. And I know this is super high, but I'm in a really lucky position right now where I still live at home, so I don't have to worry about rent. And so I want to take advantage of that and put as much money into to my savings as I can. The second category I have is travel goals. So this summer my mom is going to Toronto and Montreal for her job. She's going for a week in Montreal and a week in Toronto and she invited me to come with her so of course I said yes. The hotel room is going to be paid for and when my mom's going to be working I can just like explore the cities, shop around, it's, it's gonna be super fun. I also want to go to Quebec City again. I was there a couple of weeks ago, but I could only stay for one day, which is not enough time at all. So I really want to go back this summer for at least a couple of days because it's such a beautiful city, especially in summer. Then I have some more generic life goals. The first one is to pass my theoretical um, driver's test, which I know I'm a bit late on. I'm 19 and I haven't even taken the first step to get my driver's license but I'm planning on rectifying that like in the next few weeks. I'm gonna go take the test and hopefully pass. <laughs> Another goal I have is to explore the city and find local cafes. This sounds like a random goal, but it's for when university starts again. Like, I want to be the kind of person that goes to cute cafes and studies there. And I'm not talking about like Starbucks or Second Cups, because those places are always so busy. Like, I want to find some hidden cafes near my university where I can go in between classes, before school, after school, and just study there. Next goal is to build up my wardrobe. Like, I seriously want to make a list of all of the articles of clothing I want to buy and little by little work my way through this list because I feel like whenever I go shopping and I just buy a random article of clothing because I like it, sometimes it doesn't fit with like the other clothes in my wardrobe. And I feel like if I had a list and like deliberately bought articles of clothing instead of impulsively buying them, I feel like I could build a more cohesive wardrobe, which is kind of my goal. Next, I have a pretty random goal, but it's to go to the beach and do picnics more often this summer. Like those are two of my favorite activities ever. And I don't very often go to the beach or do picnics, which is so unfortunate because those are like my favorite activities ever. So this summer, that's one thing that I really wanna do. I just wanna like take a blanket and a book and just like lay in the grass or lay at the beach and read and chill there. Next is art galleries. This is another thing that I love doing, but I almost never do. I want to go to a bunch of art galleries this summer. Like I want to go to some in Toronto, in Montreal, in Quebec, here in Ottawa, because I love, I, I just think it's so peaceful walking around and looking at art pieces of arts. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to keep a straight face, but she is so funny. She's literally purring in my ear so loud. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this beautiful little cat here. <laughs> Anyways, back to the subject. Another goal I want to do is find and attend some gymnastic tumbling classes. I've always loved doing gymnastic tricks ever since I was six years old. I've never taken classes personally, but when I was in third and fourth grade, I had some friends that took some classes and every recess they would teach me some tricks to do. I know how to do some of the basics, like I, I know how to do a cartwheel, a handstand, a round off, a one-handed cartwheel, a front walkover, a back walkover, and a front handspring. But I want to learn how to do even more so I want to find an adult gymnastics studio that teaches tumbling and do some classes this summer. 
Next, I want to clean up my photo library on my iPhone, which sounds pretty stupid, but I think I have like close to 50,000 pictures in my iPhone right now. And like my storage is non-existent. And I feel like I could narrow it down to 10,000 and be okay. So yeah, that's another thing I want to do. I just want to take like a couple of hours and go through my phone and just erase all of the pictures that I don't think are necessary. Next, I want to post a YouTube video weekly. I've started posting YouTube videos recently and I love it so much, like it's so fun. I want to be serious about it and try to grow on YouTube. Next, I want to reorganize my Pinterest boards. Another random goal, but I've been wanting to do that for a while, but I never really had the time. And now that I have the time because we're in summer, I kind of want to just make my Pinterest super aesthetic and cohesive. The next category of goals I have is learning goals. The first learning goal I have is I want to work on my Spanish like seriously this summer. I'm okay in Spanish, like I've taken four years of classes during high school and I think I'm at like intermediate level currently. But ever since I finished high school, I haven't been learning anything really. So I really want to work on my Spanish. And two ways that I'm going to be doing that is first, I want to buy a Spanish grammar book and do one page every single day. If you have any recommendation, please let me know. Honestly, I'd love that. And the second thing I want to do is I want to watch like a Spanish TV show completely with Spanish subtitles. Because sometimes I watch Spanish TV shows with English subtitles and I feel like I don't learn as much. So I really want to try doing it with Spanish subtitles. I feel like it's going to be hard at first, but hopefully I'll get used to it and even if I don't really understand everything that's going on, at least I'm learning a couple of new words. So, so yeah, that's another thing I want to do. And my last learning goal is to read six books before school starts. And I calculated this and I think there's about 10 weeks before school starts again. So if we do the math, I think it's like one book per one and a half week, which is pretty doable, honestly. Like most of the books that I want to read aren't too long. So I think I'd be able to do that. Then I have some health goals. The first one is to drink a glass of green juice every day. I'm already doing this. Um, like I do my own green juice pretty much every morning. Like I just take some spinach, celery, lemon and water and just like blend it in a blender. Yeah, I want to continue doing that and be more strict about doing it like every single day. And next, I have to fix my sleep schedule before university starts again. My sleep schedule isn't isn't too bad. Like right now, I think I go to bed around 11 and I wake up around 7 on most days, which isn't too bad, but I'd like to go to bed more early. Like the magic number I'm aiming for is going to bed at 9.30 and waking up at 6.30. So yeah, I'm gonna try to work on that progressively um, during the summer. So when school starts again, my sleep schedule is better. Next, I have some academic goals. And basically this is because I'm taking some spring and summer classes. Like I'm taking four classes. I have an anthropology class, which I just finished. Like I took the final exam literally yesterday and I think it went well, so that's good. But I still have three remaining. I have a calculus class that I'm currently doing and then two psychology classes. The first one is the psychology of death and dying, which I thought sounded so interesting. And the second one is a psychopathology class, which I think is like the study of mental disease. And basically I'm aiming for B in calculus because honestly I'm horrible at calculus and I really don't like it. And either A or A plus for the two psychology classes. Okay, so now that I have written down my goals, I established a system that will make it easier for me to follow through with my goals. Because I feel like sometimes when we just write down goals, if we just write it on a list and never look at the list again, like you're gonna forget about it for sure, you know? So, so yeah, I made a Notion template where I can track a couple of habits I want to adopt during the summer. So basically I input the date in the first column, then each habit is represented by an emoji. So the book emoji means reading, the cucumber emoji represents drinking the green juice, and so on. And yeah, I just checked the box under the habit if I completed that habit on that day. So hopefully this habit tracker will make it easier for me to stay on top of my goals. And finally, I'm going to do a vision board. And I think that that's helpful because like when I'm writing down my goals, I get like super motivated and enthusiastic and everything. But a couple of days later, like sometimes I lose my motivation and I stop doing the progress. To prevent that, I feel like doing a vision board where I kind of like visually present my goals and looking at it every morning. I feel like that could help give me some motivation boost to follow through with my goals. So yeah, I'm going to put a vision board I made on the screen for you to 
see and if you want you can use it for yourselves but I really recommend just like scrolling through Pinterest finding some pictures that inspire you and doing one for yourself and I'm gonna put my vision board on my screensaver of my laptop so I can see it like every day and hopefully give me some motivation. And before I end this video, I just want to remind you to not be too strict on yourself. Even if you don't accomplish your, your goals, like it's no big deal, it's summer, you should enjoy yourself and everything. I'm just doing some goals because I want to do a little bit of progress, but even if I just complete like 30% of my goals, I'm, I'm happy, you know, it's progress. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comments what are your goals. Like, uh, I would love to know and maybe we could all encourage each other and inspire each other. So yeah, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you next week. Bye! Also, I just want to apologize about my hair. I know how crazy it's been all throughout this video. I like desperately need a haircut and I haven't been yet. So that's what I'm working with. Sorry if that distracted you because it's been distracting me all day. Like I literally have a brush here and I keep playing with it because it's so messy. But you know, that's life. <laughs>